which some of how how effective they are one versus the other, which one is better for which circumstances. So that's something we're looking into. So DDS is is a device that gets implanted and stays permanently. Yeah. Fairly common. Where do you stick the uh, the generator? Usually under the clavicle. Oh, okay, so, so kind of like, just like a VNS? Like a VNS okay. or a okay. pacemaker. The RNS system is the, the unique one in this That's circumstance. Like a, like a skull one. Because that actually everything stays in the head. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a patient who either put a VNS or an RNS. Is there, is there another type of DBS, like DBS therapy that people go for? Or, or is, I, I guess that's what I was, I've heard of. I didn't, I didn't put together there's a DBS device. Yeah, so that's, that's the device. So DBS is, stands for deep brain stimulation. And it's, uh, it's that two-part device, basically. An electrode, and then it's connected to a pulse generator. And so um, both of those things get implanted for in order to utilize the therapy. And it just stimulates that anterior nucleus of the thalamus, and that can affect other areas of the brain? Yeah. Where seizures are starting? Yeah. In theory. <laughs> so where, how, so unlike the VNS where you, know, you got the biggest nerve in your neck, uh -huh. getting for the DBS, how do you, how do you, Place the uh, the electrodes into the, <laughs> into the thalamus. Yeah, I mean, do you sure. just drill a hole and just like a? Yeah. So, so it's kind of like the old-fashioned uh, so death electrode study kind of thing, or just kind of like? Kind of. Kind of like yeah. That? Okay. Yeah, kind of. We do a slightly larger burr hole for um, 